Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 here on Raw Slow Gaming and we're about to see the turn of the century here in the game so let's see if we get any new vehicles for that I don't know to be honest but uh, hopefully we do but uh, might not be the case so we actually get tons of new vehicles that's nice and a lot of new cargo things that is going to be really really good and interesting we get some new passenger cars here as well but i think we have passenger cars that can go decently fast but that one thing directly wouldn't change up this is uh is this train uh, we will increase capacity even more there as well but uh, we will replace this vehicle first we'll have a look on the new train so obviously it's uh, very much more powerful the attractive effort isn't that really great though so uh, i think we'll stick with the 10 wheeler here but for cargo, we will go with something that can go faster. And uh, apparently now everything can go 80 automatically. Is that what have happened? No, you're still maxing at 50. All right. So I said, let's go locomotive, 10 wheeler, cargo. Oh, there we go, flat car. Still the same. Right, all right. So here, the new ones start. So, emission 12, 20, 12 times two. This one is easily the best one, even though it weighs a little bit. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that one is easily the best. So we will go up to something around, I don't know what, 84? No, 96. So we'll replace it like so. We'll have a look here on the vehicles for this route if uh, oh that was not what I meant to do but all right uh, so double up the capacity there again the shipping 86 87 100 percent transport yeah and uh, we're supplying we'll raise a Good here with uh, some uh, some tools or thingies at least and have already grown a fair bit so that's nice uh, increasing this though yeah, we're still a very short here on the transport versus what it can be is it a one-to-one -one here really it is interesting so that might mean that we are going to head out to Oslo here pretty soon as well uh, since it's such an easy uh, good chain so what speed are you up to 62 all right all right so we are going to change things up you are maxing at 80 i believe and you're the 10 wheeler i believe also yeah 10 wheeler and uh, with these guys let's see here just speed it up uh, and see what it uh, lands at of course you see here it's almost reaching the whole whole uh, line or the whole yeah the whole line so to say to reach the top speed there which is clearly 80. how is this line doing by the way think it may be still oh it's making a small profit so that's good 
a very good actually 162 weight in there though so that's uh, a lot we've got over 50 waiting here it's also a lot and it's good uh, you're very empty though that's not so good Yerp. also very empty yeah I wish I could tell you to turn around. But I can't really, can I? Those two are not that good spa spaced in between them, but still, somehow, this is a full train. But hopefully, Eventually, they will space themselves out a little bit better. So here we also have uh, a materials plant, so we could reach Burnham and Skullstu again. Do we have any? Uh, and here we also actually have very close for the quarry. And uh, it's viable to go to Hara from here as well. So, but where would that go? Would that go around Hammerstrand? Hmm. Or would it go around here somehow? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I think I think we'll uh, just line that up and then go go to a lot of places really from here, from this side. Is that our next project? I think it might be. <laughs> and this is yeah, crazy. So I kind of don't want to do that over here. But again, it's it's so close. I don't really see a reason in um, in doing trains in between there. Just let's have a look here. How long that would be? So one sixty. I don't think we would need longer than that, but just if we would max it, something like this. Right. So this is happening. This is how we're going to do it. And then we got a cargo station like this, and this is going to be minimum three tracks. Uh, and then it's probably going to be more. And uh, we're going to have a road going around there. Should probably first place the road, to be honest. So let's do that first. So something like that. And then we'll get in with the train tracks or the train station rather good station like so right now then tracks so that's uh, not a long way but this is a little bit of a way uh, we are going to go from here so they can get uh... all right we'll do a really high speed turn there for some reason uh, since I think that looked pretty interesting going through everything and actually nice through the road there so just digging down there quite deeply but it uh, looks nice all right, so now we can get there. So 
Where are we going? Are we going to Burnham first? Uh, I guess we are. Skullstugan needs uh, that too. Right, so... That means, Burnham, you're getting your first um, train station, possibly. But also you're so damn small, so... Might be the case that we actually will set up a sort of express road. But again, again no, I don't think so really. Uh, so can we get in here with a small terminal station here? That uh, picks everything we can. So is that what we're going to do? I think it is. It can be a little bit longer than... Uh, 80 meters, so let's do the regular 160 meters, and that will cover everything, almost at least at the moment. So we don't need any shuttle there, which is good, because that is something we don't want. We don't want it to share that line either, so we'll go on the second one. Uh, we do, of course, need to be able to go to cross 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 all these so we'll go like that now the tricky thing is going to go be this how are we going to go to hara and uh, while i'm pondering that remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying the show and uh, also, if you haven't done so yet, but want to follow along on our Let's Play series here of uh, Transport Fever 2 in a tropical map, hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, this is looking pretty darn interesting. Really, do we only have one track there? Suruhara for a while. It's a bit all right. It's also sort of interesting. Why have that been untouched like that forever? Should probably smarten that up, but yeah, I think for sure that we're going like that. So, and for now, we'll have. Uh, signal there and if you're interested in supporting this channel even more check out the links in the description so this will obviously as i said have a stop here so anything outside here will have priority right then. so towards hara So, will we cross over again? I don't know. We will cross here and again. Again, this will have priority. And yeah, I know that you're likely not doing that sort of cross that often. Maybe in the 1900s, but um, that is what we're going to do at the moment at least. Right, so how then the lonely station with the really nothing on one one single platform and uh, line. So this is going to be configured a lot. So eventually we'll bring in something else. I would think so. You're going to get three tracks at least. That's the sort of minimum. And then you'll get the two cargo tracks, also sort of the minimum. Like so. Uh, we do need a cargo building, I guess. Bomb building will be removed. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we got the connection on that side. And then we sort of need a cargo station too. Guess we could help them with uh, building a little bit of a road here. Yeah, and that's all right. Uh, we will get in with a truck station here. Three zero thirty. Oh, come on, construction is possible. Yes, there we go. All right, a little bit more. Yes, no, come on. There. I'm happy with that. Right then, so we're going in on this side. That means we're going to need to cross this again. Since this is closer to, well, more in the middle, so to say. This is reasonably close here, so it doesn't really matter. And we have crossed already. I think I should do something else. But I kind of don't want to. I kind of just want to cross it again. I can't think that this would be... This would actually sort of work. But not really. Right, so... We're going parallel to the track for a while and then have a crossover just late. Is that going to be fine? Like, this is really late, but if we do a crossover here. And yeah, I understand that that's not going to work because we've got the road there. Uh, so if we bring that... Uh, no, I think we have room to do it after the road. So let's do it after the road instead. So like that, and then the crossover here. That's good track. Yes, it is. So obviously, you're going to have to wait getting in there. Yeah, I think that's all right. So now then, I have a lot of new track here laid in and a lot of routes to set up here before we go back to Ulrisa Han and check how things are going there. Uh, so you're obviously having a hard, going to have a hard time coming in there. So what we will do is uh, for now just do like that. Uh, I don't know if that will be there forever or not, but we will see. So New line from Hammarstrand North to Hammarstrand Branch, and this is Stone. Stone and Delivery Ham. Right, and then we're going to create the train for that. Right, so are we going with a no? That's just that just cost them more emission and everything. Lifespan is bad, worse as well. So cargo here, uh, we are going with whatever can take stone. So it's a gondola. Which gondola is best done? Six, six, two, twenty. 25 20 and 15 takes the same though so i actually think we will go with this one uh, due to the lower weight all right so we will go to whatever there we go it is until it's poor so like that that's a really expensive one. Can't find path to stop. Why not? Come in here, 
Have we missed? Yes, we have. Right. So. Entry, like so. Are we able to come out now? So as I was saying, let's see here if the train comes out. It doesn't seem like it. In depot, why? Set line, right. And I want to find past to stop. Why? All right, you're, are you not double skipped? You can't really be double skipped, or can you? I don't know, uh, but uh, let's see here if uh, we can't fix that. Right. Too much curvature. Oh boy. Too much curvature. Just like that then, and uh, something like this. Extremely unlovely. Stone deliver. There you go. Finally. Right, got that out, so uh, let that be, and then um, we'll uh, maybe remove it, or we'll just have it to be like that <laughs> for a while. Uh, setting that up. Next up, we have to Burnham, and uh, of course to ha Hara. So we're going to go with the tender wheeler again, the cargo. Is uh, let's see here what we're using it on the gondola again. No, tank car. No, flat cars. So which one will we go with? Oh, going to go with that one. I think sixty will be enough for that. Uh, we need to create the route first, though. From Hammerstrand to Burnham. And we did do that. We will add in a little extra there as well. Oh, damn. Um, so, bricks delivery burn. Like so, we'll build a little bit of track, just like so. Let the train out. Go to bricks delivery burn. And so I see we need to change this. This should be big, and then we have this should be for oh nice that new uh, tram there for older. So we will be looking at that sooner or later. Waiting for free pass, yeah. We'll uh, set in signal here, I guess. And then we need to create another line from Hammerstrand branch over to Hara. And you have connection there, yes, right. So you are uh, Bricks Delivery, big D for some reason. Hara. There we go, and that train is going to be a lot longer. Locomotive is still going to be the 10 wheeler. 
cargo flat car to do the side yeah that one uh you're going to be i said really big actually Yeah, 276. I don't think that's viable. 228. Can we try 228? 245. How much do we get if we keep it under 180 meters or around? 168 in capacity. Right, let's do that then. And uh, by doing that, we're going to need to set up uh, multiple routes here for uh, the bricks to be delivered. But that's fine. That's something we can do. So we'll have uh, one over here. We'll have uh, one here. And we'll have one here as well. So we'll have three different lines there. So it's going to be from Uppehara to Rosenlundsgatan. Bricks shuttle. Har one. Line. Berhara to Engdalsgatan. Bricks. Oh. Bricks shuttle. Shuttle. Not shuttle. R2. A new line. Berhara to Gärdesvägen. Uh, and then that is. Uh, Bricks shuttle har three. There we go. Some vehicles to those. Um, what will we do? Three to each. Yeah, I think that should maybe work. Uh, that's probably going to be really under capacity uh, when we actually get the deliveries but uh, it's at least, at least something so everything is set up there we have uh, the trains in motion so to say here how much one is uh, looking a little bit to the small side we have uh, the first nope no deliver there but we have the first uh, delivery here of stone coming in, 34 pieces. Uh, production is uh, 400 shipment, 100 transport, zero. Transport is going to go up, of course. How is Uppsala doing? Is a question here. 518 around target, it has dropped up off a little bit. Tools and fuel are 70 both, but uh, yeah, tools for for there is uh, so much and it's uh, overflowing here as well. So we need to increase uh, this. We've got 12 vehicles. I think we actually can just, well, uh, we're going to say we can double that up, but we'll not, we'll uh, give it 50% more capacity. Uh, we're actually not overflowing there, so that's good. And fuel are very much overflowing there. And that's due to your uh, very tight thing here, I guess. Uh, 
And uh, no, that's tools. Fuel. Yeah, we probably need to look at things. How are we doing here? Nothing is overflowing there at least, so that's good. But yeah, it's uh, an extremely busy station, this. And of course, we have uh, the passenger trains that have uh, priority. So that's making everything even more tricky. Let's have a look here at Staffanstorp and then we'll go back to Ulrichshamn to finish things off. And yeah, really, really low here at the moment. For some reason. We are overflowing with food at the moment though. Could and probably should split that up too. For... Uh, for that fuel shuttle. Right. Uh, we'll have a look at that some other day, some uh, some other time, so to say. Nikolakta is doing pretty darn well as well. So let's go down towards this second line. And uh, Renas is probably a city that we should connect to somewhere continue on the line upwards toward uh, Nikolukta. But uh, for now, we'll wait a little bit. Stuburu drawn a little bit to Yerp as well. To Yerp also needs the bricks. A lot of places needs bricks. You also have uh, bricks thingy here or construction material but you actually don't have a stone quarry nearby it looks like Estra also jumped a little bit a bisco not that much quite a lot of people waiting Rizan how are you doing 373 targets 375 we're having 80% transport here and uh, yeah, we've grown a lot, uh, but that is what we want to see. So nothing overflowing there at least. Uh, we've got 38 here, so it seems like we're still on the short end here for delivery. Shipment 200, transport 100%, so we're transporting everything there. So there's no shortage on that at least. Shipment 114, we're transporting everything there too. So we're maxed out there. And it will be so. So this should be higher, but it isn't for some reason. Uh, so I think that's going to be it, but we'll. Uh, keep on working on this on the map overall of course in the next episode so thank you very much for watching this one and i'll see you next time bye bye you have been watching rolls Glow gaming and i hope you have enjoyed on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching